Yes. Yes, of course, Deborah. Do come in and please sit down. I'm sorry. I... I can't see very well. I don't believe I have my glasses here or... or any clothes that fit me. I apologize that I've come barging in on your honeymoon like this. But I snuck on board and I'm afraid I've run out of hiding places. If anyone tries to put me off the ship, I'll be forced to become... my other self. Won't I? There's no need for that, Deborah. You're safe here. I'll do everything I can for you. Oh, is that so? Yes, yes. It's the least I can do after... After... After everything that's happened to you. Are you all right? Apart from being dressed in garbage and suffering from the ravaging pains that your secret potion gave me. Do you have anything I could eat? Uh, yes. Here. Uh, we appear to have a fruit basket. It doesn't seem to have been touched yet. Please. It's all yours. Don't remind me what is mine. You stole everything I have. My entire life is ruined. I'm considered an extremely dangerous criminal lunatic now because of you. I promise that I will do all that I can to help you. You may not have a choice. I didn't expect to find you like this. The newspaper said you had permanently become that other woman. The one that tried to murder me. Where is your husband? I assume he's sleeping in the bedroom. I only just returned. The last thing I remember was... my wedding. Don't remind me about your wedding. When I heard about it in the asylum, I became so enraged that I blacked out. And you, of all people, must realize what that means. I'm still suffering the effects of your potion. My own inner monster released me from my captivity. I've been on the run ever since. But what do you mean the last thing you remember was your wedding? That was weeks ago. I don't get to be myself much anymore. Lola Hyde has become the dominant personality. I'm surprised that I'm back at all. What is Lola Hyde? Is that what you call her? She calls herself that. I named my formula Lola Quadranium Hydrochlorothiazide. She named herself Lola Hyde after it. Well, according to the press, she calls herself the new Dr. Angela Jekyll now. It appears she's stolen your life as well. It won't make any difference. I've come to kill her. So you've got as long as you need, until you change into her again. I suppose I could kill you right now, even without turning into my monster. But it's dawning on me how you experience things the same way I do. You black out when it happens, don't you? Lola Hyde is the one who tried to kill me, forced me to end my engagement, and left me that potion as the only option. It's Lola Hyde who must answer for destroying my life. It's Lola Hyde who will be murdered by my monster. That will be my vengeance. <laughs> you look almost relieved, Jekyll. I suppose I am. Being dead or never emerging again from Lola Hyde is about the same for me. The only thing I ask... Is that you spare my husband? Your husband. I want to see him. Right now. All right. Hopefully he's in here. Darling? Darling, are you awake? Oh my. He looks so ill. So weak. So pale. So thin. What have you done? done to him? I don't know. Lola was always exhausting him, but he never complained. 
That evil bitch must be stopped, Jekyll. You are never to become her again, or so help me. I will kill you right now. Do you understand me? <laughs> Yes, I understand. But I can't control her. She's too powerful. You have got to find a way, or I'll do it for you. Oh, darling, you're awake. Don't strain yourself, my love. Just rest. I'm here now. Yes, and Deborah has come to check on you. It's okay. We have a lot to discuss. What's that? My glasses are in your jacket pocket. Over here? Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. Oh, Deborah. He wants to talk to you now. I can see that. I am here, beloved. I'll protect you from that horrible... Lola Hyde. What has she done to you? All right, beloved. I promise you, I will not harm Angela. Oh, he's so weak. He can barely speak. Get some sleep, my love. We will watch over you. And nurse you back to help. There, there. Rest easy now. The way he held both of our hands, forcing us to stand beside each other. Jekyll, I'm moving in with you. And this suite is large enough that the crew will never know I'm here. I will do all I can to help fully restore him, even if it means calling a truce with you. For now. He obviously loves you. I'm sure he still loves me as well, but you two have known each other since childhood. Together, we will save him. Lola Hyde shall never bother him again. I promise you that, Jekyll. I mean, Angela. You and I have a lot more in common than I originally thought. It's funny how one can develop sheer hatred for another without ever having met them. You're actually quite sweet, aren't you? Come here. Oh, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. I need your help more than ever. My condition with Lola Hyde has overwhelmed me completely. Perhaps, with your assistance, I can regain control of myself. Although, I don't know where to start. One thing at a time, my dear. First, may I ask if I could borrow some clothes? These beggar's rags I've been wearing for weeks are rank and offensive, as I'm sure you've noticed. Of course. Uh, I have no idea what was packed. Very likely... There is nothing here that will fit me, but you are likely more Lola size. Good God! I've never seen anything like these dresses. They're absolutely priceless. They must have bought them from the greatest designers in Europe. May I? Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Please, take anything you want. They are rather daring, aren't they? <laughs> I must admit, stealing dresses from Lola Hyde gives me quite a bit of satisfaction. She destroyed a few of mine one night, long ago. Do you remember any of that? Oh, no. No, I don't. I am sorry for whatever she did to you. Ugh, I'm filthy. It seems a crime to put on a priceless dress while I reek of garbage. May I bathe? Of course. Here, let me help you. Oh, this suite is so exquisite, isn't it? Look at that beautiful tub. 
It's enormous. My, my. Yes, Lola Hyde's honeymoon is indeed something to die for. But we have to make sure your marriage doesn't kill him. We have to protect him, Angela. We will, Deborah. Together. You and I. You're... Uh, you're not going to change into Lola Hyde while I'm in the bath, are you? No, I don't think so. It doesn't usually work that way. How does it work for you, Angela? When does Lola Hyde replace you? Whenever I feel desire for my husband. Intense sexual arousal. As such, I have not been able to consummate our... <laughs> oh, Angela, my dear, I had no idea. This ordeal must be terrible for you as well. Here I thought you had stolen him from me, and yet you have won in name only. You can't even enjoy him properly. There must be a way. Haven't you tried to kill yourself of Lola Hyde? They couldn't focus on my experiments. My mind was always in such turmoil. <laughs> if I tried to cure myself, she would know. And I was afraid of what she might do. I didn't want to make more serum to give her free reign, even though my body was aching for it. But I had to keep trying. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> there, there. Angela Jekyll, you have Deborah Lavish on your side now. My former life may be ruined, but you will have what's left of me to save you and your husband from that horrible woman. Oh, you are so sweet. Dry your eyes, my dear. Oh, and I apologize for being so filthy. I really must have a bathe. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Deborah. Let me draw the water for you. I apologize for getting naked in front of you, Angela. I couldn't stand wearing that dirty rag one more second. I desperately need this bath. That's all right. I am a doctor, remember? But of course. And as well, we... sort of... share a man. Now don't we? What say we get better acquainted? I think you might benefit from a good hot bath yourself. This tub is definitely big enough for the two of us. And you're practically falling out of that oversized dress anyway, aren't you? <laughs> Might as well let it drop. I suppose you're right. If you wouldn't mind. Bath does sound relaxing. And I would like to get to know you better. <sighs> yes. Here we are, both of us, with a monster lurking within us. We shall be like sister wives. Friends supporting one another, loving the same man. I think... I would like that, Deborah. Good. After you, Angela. Good heavens. This feels so good. Oh, my glasses are fogging up. I should put them aside. You're adorable. Would you mind giving me a good scrub? <laughs> yes, of course. Your skin is so beautiful, Deborah. Why, thank you, Angela. You're as cute as a button. Your... your husband. Did he ever tell you anything about me? Oh, you know how he is. So tight-lipped. 
It's hard to get anything out of him. <laughs> that sounds like him, all right. So you... You change into the hide when you become passionately aroused. Is that just when you are aroused by your husband? Or could it be arousal over someone else? I don't know. I've only ever felt arousal for him that I can remember. Good Lord. Only him, eh? Never fancied anyone else? Like, perhaps, boys when you were younger? Or even other girls? Oh, I've always been in love with him since we were young. Well, before my debut, I had affairs with other women. When he began to court me, I told him about the affairs. He seemed excited by the news. I think... Angela, I think he'd be open to us being together. We could share him and each other. This might be a way for you to experience him without becoming Lola Hyde. I don't know if that would work, Deborah. It's just too dangerous. Why don't we see what happens if I stroke you like this? Does that feel nice? Yes. Then, how about if I did this? I think we could make this work, Angela. We could love each other and love him together. Both of us protecting him from our darker halves. But... But... What if I become... too excited? What if I change? Then I will change too. And my monster... Will stop your monster. Relax, Angela. Give yourself to me. And if anything happens, if she comes, I can handle Lola Hyde. Now, sweetheart, let me help you. Relax. I'm frightened, Deborah. I don't want to become her again, but I've been so lonely, so worried, I could never experience this, and your touch feels so good. Do you think we can do this without triggering? Hmm. Are you still there, Angela? Look at me. What's with your eyes? They look different. Is that you, Lola Hyde? You are not to come out. Do you understand me? You are not wanted here. I only want Angela. I want you. Mm, Angela, talk to me, sweetheart. Tell me you're enjoying this. Mm, talk to me, baby. And tell me it's still you. Deborah, 
He chased her away. I could feel her coming. But now she's gone. Oh, you've made me so happy. Thank you, Deborah. Welcome, my dear. You're very, very welcome. Oh, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Hmm? Yes, I am quite pleased with you, Angela Jekyll. But you and I, we must remain vigilant. This isn't a cure. And neither of us wants Lola Hyde to ever re-emerge. That would be unacceptable, wouldn't it? No. You're going to have to find a cure for us, eventually. But for now, we will help each other. Please each other. Share and nurse your husband back to health. And as long as I never see Lola Hyde again, we shall be just fine.